hello welcome to Trisha's cards and crafts and I'm just going to show you another project in my Christmas countdown series of videos and today we're going to be looking at how to make some quick tags for Christmas presents this is the sort of um, tag we're going to make um, it's got a little image on the front I've used some double-sided paper and I've just um, got one one side on one side of the tag and one on the then you see the other side as well um, I've also got to and from on one one side and a little greeting and a little image on the front and I've got it tied together with some real red ribbon um, the colors for this these um, tags are old olive and real red um, I've also used some paper zars to color the wreath in as well. I've used there's a, a two inch strip um, by about four and a quarter um, for the back part of the tag and the whisper white is a, about four inches by one and a half inches. The small piece at the bottom is three quarters of an inch by the same width so it's one and a half okay so that's what the strip that will go on the bottom is okay so those are the things the stamp sets that I've used memories of home I've used the to and the from and the Christmas cheer and I've also used the wreath from the Snow Wonder stamp set. But you could use any images that you've got that, or and, and, and any sentiments as well that you've already got at home if you want to make some of these tags yourself. Okay, the only other thing I've used is this um, punch. I think it's the Delightful Punch. Delightful delightful punch anyway and it's got a nice um, edge to it and it also punches out the hole for the top okay so I'll show you how I've used that as well right so I'll show you another one of these and this time I might just I'll just turn the paper so this is the other way around okay so one side of the the papers that I've used are from the most wonderful time project medley there are lots of um, different um, double-sided sheets of paper that you I could have used um, I've just chosen two of them out of here it takes up one sheet with a few little bits of but left it takes two different sheets of the paper the six by six um, and you do have a little a little bit amount left off and it's just under half a sheet of the whisper white as well okay so that's what you need so it's four and a quarter by two for the larger pieces and for the whisper white for the DSP and for the whisper white is four by one and a half okay and then the smaller pieces I've just cut off the, the bits that I cut off the end and they're one and a what uh, one and a half inches by three quarters of an inch Okay, so first of all, I just stick this piece on. So we'll do the opposite way round to the the other one that I've already done, and they're all the same. So I'm only going to show you um, the one um, tag. You can work out how to do the rest. And again, like I said, you could use any small images that you've got, that you've already got at home, or you can find the, the stamp sets that I've used as well. Okay. There we go. I don't know how I got sticky on my fingers. There we go. Right. So that's that bit done. So that's stuck down. I've used the, <laughs> the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Lost a little bit now. There it is. Um, there we go. Right, so I'm going to take that off for now. Got sticky on my fingers. Right, Christmas cheer could go towards the top 
and but I've, I've, because we're going to be um, cutting some of the top off when you put it into the punch I'm not doing it too close to the top and then the wreath underneath okay and then on the back so I'll turn it over and we're going to do the two from there we go I just thought that's quite a nice size of the font on that one that's why I chose that one the, I could have used other stamp sets there that I've got to and from in there's quite a lot of different stamp sets that I've got them um, I haven't got them all at the moment but there we go right so that's all the stamping done so we just colour them in so I used the real red to do what might be berries possibly it's difficult to tell because they're not they could just be leaves <laughs> they could be poinsettias if you wanted them to be <laughs> um, but I just thought they looked a bit like it's not quite holly because the edges aren't the more look of the leaves look straight but uh, I'm pretending that that's what they are <laughs> so this is the real red marker pen and I'll just do the bow there we go and then I'll do the paper as on the leaves that are sort of towards the front that's a guess more than anything um, you could make up your minds which ones you want to color in which or if you've got different colored greens you can just color them all in one green if that's all you've got um, but because I've got both I thought I'd use both of them Go. so that's what they are and then I'll just use the old olive so that was the paper Zaz marker and this is the old olive so you get a bit more depth and dimension if you use more than one colour but again like I said it doesn't have to be you just use what you've got but again if you want anything that you could see me using you can find it on my online shop which is at Trisha's Cards and Crafts no, Trisha's Cards and Craft <laughs> dot stampin up dot net okay, I think that's about it now so that's the colouring done so now all we need to do is to put this together now because the last one I used the gold foiling on the back of the card and on the bottom of the tag and this on the card on the back of the <laughs> tag and on the bottom of the white whisper white and this time I'm using it the other way around so now we just need the punch so if we make sure that's nicely lined up there um, whoops. and then this should fit into the widest part of the punch because there's three different sizes you can do there you go and it just pops out wherever it went oh there it is <laughs> there we go okay so that now we know that they're lined up in the same place it should it probably moved a little bit but never mind it'll be okay and I've used some of this real red ribbon just going to cut myself a piece of this and we just I just fold it in half and it will just go through the front like that and then just put the ends through one through one and another one Just 
ends together where possible. There we go. And then pull it through. And there you are, another tag. So you can easily make as many as you need. Um, I've got enough to make six. So, and again, I could have used different um, stamps, small images. Maybe I could use the wreath on this one. And I've got another stamp, whoops, another stamp set. somewhere I could have used bows from the um, gift trapped bundle could have used one of the bows that would have looked nice on one I could use those on the um, the ones that have got the, the parcels tied up with and I could have used different sentiment. I could use especially wrapped especially for you. I could have used the rosette type um, bow. I think that would probably yeah, that would fit on as well. So again, you can use whichever ones, whatever you want to use. Um, it's up to you. That's another one. I can't see. Oh, there it is. I could have used the Santa hat. Could have used the baubles. They wouldn't fit all fit on but you could easily just fit what you want on i could have put the parcel on the ho 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 won't won't just won't quite fit on there but you could always fit it on so that it's going down instead of across um, you can fit the especially for you um, a little treat for someone sweet you could put that in and you could put sweets and you could have it for um, if you've got some sweets to give to somebody you could use those Again, it's completely up to you. You can make them for any occasion. These, this is a nice set. The the little treats. Um, you've got some flowers. They could be. You could make those poinsettias, and you could make them red and yellow in the middle with some green leaves. Um, you can do what you want, really. <laughs> and you can make this. If you've got this set, you can make it for any occasion. You can even do it for engagements or weddings. Um, you can. You've got bunting, you can make it for Halloween because you've got happy, happy Halloween. You've got a tiny to and from there, which is why I didn't use this set. Um, but, you know, you can use it. Thank you for coming. If you've got thank you presents to give to people, if they've, they've arrived, they come to your house for, I don't know, to stay or for a meal, you could make that for a, a, <coughs> a table gift, maybe. Right. So there we go. There's some ideas for you. I hope you've enjoyed um, the video and hopefully you'll make your own set of tags to give to people for, with your Christmas gifts. Um, if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, click on the subscribe button. And if you click on the little bell icon, you'll be notified when I post another video. <coughs> Any comments or <coughs> sorry, comments or questions, you can leave them below or any suggestions. Um, uh, or you can email me at Trisha's Cards and Crafts at yahoo.com. Um, and again, if you've got any, if you want any of the um, materials I've used today or anything else, there's lots of nice goodies on crafting goodies on the in this shop. It's on my online shop if you're from the UK, and you'll find it at Trisha's Cards and Craft .net. Okay, thank you for joining me today. Hopefully, you'll join me again soon. Happy Christmas. Bye.